In June of 1950, North Korea invaded South Korea and the Korean War was underway. Just five years after World War II had ended, the United States was at war once again. More than for our freedom, our Lance Schwartz has their story. All right, thank you, Stephanie. Imagine this frightening scenario. You're just 18 years old, fresh out of high school, and you're told to leave the friendly confines of Stromsburg, Albion, or Shikli and travel 6,000 miles around the world to risk your life to defend the freedom of people you would never know. Many... Your heart beat. You, you've done a lot of praying. Orville Weber says it is very hard to explain just what American soldiers went through in Korea. You can tell them, but it doesn't. They just don't realize what it really was like. All of that sacrifice was rarely appreciated back in the States. Because when I got home after the service, why, you would, the town went right back to what it was. Nobody really had any big bands or anything played. We just went back to farming. The Honor Flight's organizer says these guys richly deserve some gratitude for their service. They've dealt with this for years. They're all the little brothers of the World War II veterans. They have never gotten the attention or the uh, uh, respect that they deserve. Does that mean a lot for you to be here, to, to see this, especially with all your brothers? Yeah. Describe the feeling of what it's like to be here. <laughs> like I said, I could be a professional mourner. It gets me. Clint and Dick Hoover grew up in Seward. Yes, we were in Korea at the same time. Experiencing the memorial built to honor them left the Hoover brothers with a tingling feeling. And I guess just just the fact that this, the activity was memorialized, not forgotten entirely. I'm thankful. Thankful to be here. Okay. 85 years. I'm thankful you're here, too. It has been such an honor for me to be on this honor flight. I'm so proud to be an American, and it is because of men like this. One of the most moving moments of the day took place on the home front. It was 11 p.m. when 200 people surprised the veterans at the airport in Omaha. Wives gave hugs like it was a long overdue 1953 homecoming. It just brings tears to my heart. Oh. Yeah. And daughters welcomed home their heroes. Welcome home, I know. How's it feel to have this kind of greeting, he said. It's great. Yeah. I can't believe it. Thank you, email from the Honor Flights organizer, Bill Williams. In the email, Bill thanked members of the media for sharing veteran stories from the trip on Tuesday. That was nice. But what really got me was when he closed his thank you note with this. It said, Korea, the forgotten war? Question mark, not in Nebraska. And oh my goodness, big thank you goes out to those amazing Korean War veterans from Nebraska. You and 54,246 of your brothers who never made it home, you all make me proud to be an American. Me too. Absolutely. I mean, it's really touching to see their emotion when, they, when they're there and they're just, you know, it's hard not to tear up along with them. It's Absolutely. Just, it's special. It's that, very touching. That's a day I'll never forget. I'm sure. Thank you so much, Lance. All right, up next, we'll update your forecast. Stay with us.